Wham, bam, wham, bam, Tesla cam. Come on! Damon was sitting at a red light in his Model 3 in Grand Prairie, Texas, when an SUV on the opposite side of the road suddenly ran the red light and started across the intersection. The SUV was T-boned by another car from the left, which sent it tumbling onto its roof before slamming into Damon's Tesla. Damon jumped out and rushed over to the driver of the SUV, who was hanging upside down inside the car. Damon asked, are you okay? He responded that he was, and Damon helped him out of the car. Once out, the guy asked Damon, did I run that red light? Damon just nodded his head. They checked on the other driver, and luckily, everyone involved was okay. The police arrived moments later. The officers were happy they could view the Tesla cam video right inside Damon's Tesla. Thanks to the footage, they easily determined who was at fault, which also helped with the resulting insurance claims. Damon was able to drive his Tesla away from the crash site, and he's now waiting for a repair estimate from Tesla. Edder was at work at Domino's in Grays Lake, Illinois. He'd just gone to get a mask from his car, and when he went back inside, he heard a loud bang from the parking lot. He rushed out and found the parking lot in chaos. His Model 3 and two other cars were all smashed up. At first, he couldn't piece together what had happened, but check out what they saw when they watched the Sentry Mode footage. A teenager had been driving a Jeep and lost control at full speed. They crashed into a parked car, which then crashed into Edder's Tesla. The Tesla cam broke on impact, ending the recording right at the crash. The teenage driver was okay, and Edder was just thankful that it hadn't happened moments earlier, which would have pinned him between the cars. Edder wasn't even upset about his Tesla being deemed a total loss, but dealing with his insurance was a whole other story, since the teenager didn't have insurance for the Jeep that she'd borrowed from her sister. In the end, it was all sorted out, and Edder placed an order for a new Model 3. Edder was hoping his new Tesla would be delivered by Christmas, but now it looks like the delivery date isn't until early July. Sheldon had just pulled out onto Woodstock Avenue in Sydney, Australia, when the driver of a ute pulled out of a side street without looking. Autopilot wasn't engaged, and Sheldon had to brake hard. It wasn't until after the ute had fully pulled into Woodstock Avenue that he noticed the driver was a learner, as indicated by the yellow L attached to the rear license plate. Sheldon says he was shaken, but not stirred. This submitter was driving his Model 3 in Monterey Park, California. He approached a Honda that was driving along with its hazard lights on. The Honda driver was trying to stop a Lexus driver, and the submitter speculates that this may have been because of an earlier hit and run. The Honda driver got out of his car to confront the Lexus driver, but he decided to drive into him. The Honda driver jumped up onto his roof, barely escaping being smashed by the Lexus. The submitter also had an aftermarket dash cam running, so let's just tap into that really quickly so you can see the difference in quality. Oh man, the new Wham Bam Dash Cam channel is going to be epic. We're compiling the first episode right now, and believe me, you will be satisfied. Another theory the submitter has is that the Honda driver was threatening the Lexus driver, which is why the driver decided to drive into him. But again, this is just speculation, as he doesn't actually know the full story. The submitter waited for the driver of the Silver Accord to pull over, but he didn't, so he never got the chance to give him a copy of this footage. He also contacted the police, but they didn't have any record of the incident. Eric was driving his Model 3 in Stockholm, Sweden, when the driver of a Volvo XC70 cut him off. Wow, nice car spotting, Wham Bam. You definitely know your way around the Volvos. As the Volvo driver cut him off, Eric didn't notice a small rock in the road and ran it over. He says it made a loud bang, and he thought he'd lost a wheel or something. He didn't lose a wheel, but he did get an error message telling him to book a service appointment. Let's see if you can guess the repair cost estimate he got from that little rock. 
A, 1,000 US dollars, B, 2,000 US dollars. You know what, let's just skip the quiz, you'll never be able to guess it. The repair estimate was 19,000 US dollars. The rock had damaged the battery and his Tesla needed a full battery replacement. Eric's insurance company tried to seek compensation from the Volvo driver, but since they hadn't actually hit the Tesla, it was deemed a safe lane change and they determined that the rock had nothing to do with the Volvo. After picking up his son from school in his Model 3, Anthony got stuck in some after-school traffic. One driver evidently didn't notice the line of 50 cars stopped just after the turn. He got rear-ended from behind by none other than a Nissan Juke. Apparently, she was distracted by a conversation with her daughter and failed to break in time. Anthony couldn't believe how much of a tank the Tesla was when hit from behind. There was only a dent and some scuff marks on the rear bumper cover, but boy, did they feel the impact. Andre was driving his Model 3 in Houston, Texas when he witnessed a shooting star. He told us he wished that you'd subscribe to Wham Bam Tesla Cam. Aw, uh, thanks Andre. Okay, he didn't actually say that, but please subscribe. There was a massive windstorm in Colorado Springs with wind gusts up to 100 miles per hour. Jeff was driving south on I-25 during the storm when one of the large street lights blew over in the wind. Jeff's son Luke, who loves Wham Bam, spotted it falling and shouted out to save the video. He was very excited to finally have something to send in. Nice catch, Luke. Fortunately, it looks like it fell away from the highway and into some trees, so Jeff is hopeful that nobody was hurt. Paul was caught in a sudden winter storm on his way home from a night out on the town and slid onto the shoulder of a road in Provo, Utah. Despite his Model 3's all-wheel drive, he couldn't get enough traction to pull back onto the road due to the heavy snowfall, the Tesla's low ground clearance, and his performance wheels and tires. A friendly Provo City police officer, with the help of a good Samaritan, was able to push him out. In spite of some additional sideways slipping, he was finally able to break free of the trap. He shouted, thank you, out the window, but couldn't risk stopping to thank his rescuers for fear of getting stuck again. He'd like to thank the Provo City police officer and the helpful passerby for helping him out of that jam. The officer and the Good Samaritan can be seen shaking hands and congratulating each other after successfully dislodging the Model 3. Tony and Eric were driving in Las Vegas, Nevada when they witnessed the evidence of someone already tired of Christmas. They dodged the rogue Christmas tree, but the car next to them wasn't so lucky. That clip was pretty great, but Joe managed to actually capture the real Grinch when parked in Concord, North Carolina. Joe says he's not surprised one bit that the Grinch drives a Subaru. Halen was in one of two right turn lanes. That's when the driver of an SUV in the lane to her left, which was a straight only lane, decided to make a right turn anyway, immediately taking the lane she was in. Halen's quick reflexes kept her from getting sideswiped when she quickly merged into the lane to her right. She admits she was pretty proud of herself. Pete was driving in Austin, Texas when traffic came to a sudden stop. Looking into his rearview mirror, he saw a large truck barreling toward him. Luckily, the truck managed to break in time, and Pete also accelerated a bit and an accident was avoided, but he says it gave him a real scare. Vasa was on his anniversary trip with his wife from the South Bay area to Las Vegas, Nevada. They were staying in the Venetian resort and had to leave the next day. They started charging the car using the charging station available in the resort and carried on with their celebration. When he came back to the car the next morning, he found that the car hadn't charged at all. He thought this was very strange, so he watched the Sentry Mode video and found this. Another Tesla driver parked next to theirs to charge their own car. 
and the lady unplugged the charger to use for her car despite there being another charger available. Vasa was very irritated as they now had to start their return trip from another charging station. Sarah was the victim of some unprovoked road rage. Let's listen to the story in her own words to find out what happened. Okay, so for the first time ever, I had to call the police while driving. This guy tried to run me off the road. I saw him earlier driving recklessly, so I wanted to pass him. And then this happened. This man created three lanes out of two and decided to get next to me and try to push me off onto the shoulder. So he gets in front of me. His little girlfriend hops out the door, not the window, the door, and they're yelling, and that causes them to almost hit a cement wall. It's like, it's crazy, you know? Like, why? Why? For what? Thanks for the show, which is also the finale of this week's episode. Remember, if you can see a red subscribe button, it means you're not subscribed yet. It would mean the world to us if you would click on it. See you all next Sunday. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a cyber truck? My friends, I'll drive diesel. I must make amends. Yeah. <laughs>